Yeah. Anything you need? Okay, I think I'm good, man. You good? Yeah. Thank Have you a safe very race, much. bro. Right, I'll be cheering for you. I can't tell you how much I hear from the athletes about how great the volunteers are and how they could not get through this course without them, without their support, without what they do all day on the course. They're, they're just, uh, they're so appreciated by everyone. They do everything. It makes you feel so special and they're so willing to help. It's the best feeling. Very, very helpful. Who needs a mark? Come on over. Can you do me a favor? Can you put an M on my left hand? And a I can do whatever right? you want. An M on your left hand? M. Just, just an M? M. This way? Yep. Big old M. Big old M. What's the M for? My son Michael. That's awesome. That's really awesome. Michael's lucky to have such a great and, dad. And a V on this one from my other son. Absolutely. You want the V facing you? Yep. Without them, I don't know what I would do. I mean, at the aid stations, and they're always asking, what do you need? How can I help you? And they have smiles. I mean, that's, that's all I need to get through, just a smile. <laughs> Last year I volunteered at 37 weeks pregnant, so this, this has an 11 month old baby cheering me on today. I'm excited. So this year uh, we're a little bit smaller and I'll trained harder. Uh, the volunteers are unbelievable. I'm actually very glad that I volunteered before I raced. It gives you a new appreciation to them. They are phenomenal. They will bend over backwards for you. They're knowledgeable, they're helpful, and they are wonderful. And we wouldn't race without them. I got to do the race last year, so it's uh, it's wonderful to give back and watch all these wonderful people out to have a blast. It's fantastic. I've done this for four years now, interspersed by racing, and I love it. And I gotta tell you, volunteering is actually as much fun, if not more fun, than racing. It's awesome being here at Ironman. Without him, the athlete could not get through 140.6 miles. End of story. So the athletes know that, and I tell them all the time to make sure you look a volunteer straight in the eye and thank him, because that energy that comes back from the volunteer to you as an athlete is gonna catapult you through the rest of the day. And that's what they see in the faces of the volunteer, the pure passion and pleasure they're getting out of helping someone get through this, you know, a tough Ironman day. Thank you for volunteering, bud. You did an awesome job, man. The best. There's nothing better than these volunteers. It's uh, part of our, uh, our team logo. So we, we wear the kilts with the uh, Team Irons. So. Uh, we love this. It's just, it's just what we do, and we have fun, and uh, this is the best spot to be in in a kilt. I promise you that. Long breakers. The yellow thing. Oh, they're awesome. <laughs> they're so, this is my husband. He came to do it this year. <laughs> yeah. I want to see you a kiss. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. You got to give her a kiss. Oh, Come to a kiss. I don't know how they have so much positive attitude for so many hours. And it seems to get better and better, you know. That kind of attitude motivates you even more. I mean, you know, during the first half of the race, everybody's pretty pumped, and you're really not even aware of anything until you're suffering. And then that's when they really shine, and they're they're really good. They're everything to this race. And without them, we couldn't do this race. You know, we give a thank you to each and every one of them because without them, our day would be very difficult.